Hey everyone, happy at least it's not Monday day, aka Tuesday. It is April 14th. Uh, we're back with another five good things. And as of 425 p.m. today, there were 466,948 people globally who have recovered from COVID-19. Here are your five good things for today. Getting started, we're classing it up a little bit with the British School of Etiquette. Uh, Philip Sykes is the founder of the Br British School of Etiquette, and he, alongside transformation coach and TEDx speaker Jennifer Grace and world-leading trauma therapist Ryan Suave, are hosting a free online masterclass at 3 p.m. Eastern time on April 16th or 8 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time if you're in the UK to help parents deal with their children's anxiety as well as their own anxiety surrounding the global pandemic. The masterclass will help users learn easy to use mindfulness practices to alleviate fear and anxiety and not only themselves, but their children as well. Discover conscious communication skills to help dissolve disagreements and reduce reactiveness and learn the famous quote unquote worry time to technique so that instead of feeling stressed, maybe you can actually enjoy some time together. For more information, see the link below and I'll post it above where the comments are and my YouTube channel. Next up. UK veteran smashes goals and helps the NHS. Captain Tom Moore is a 99-year-old Army veteran who had the noble notion to complete a walking fundraiser on behalf of the NHS. The pensioner aimed to complete 100 laps around his Bedfordshire garden by Thursday, April 16th. Tom had originally aimed to raise 1,000 pounds for NHS charities together to thank the magnificent staff for the care he received during and after a bout of cancer and a broken hip. As of yesterday, he'd blown far beyond his goal of 1,000 pounds and had raised 500,000 pounds. Impressed by that? <laughs> Buckle up, man. Sounds like Tom was just getting started because as of today, April 14th, the kind-hearted gentleman has raised 2 million pounds. He went from 1,000 pounds to 2 million pounds. Job well done, Captain Tom Moore. And third, a San Francisco man is serving up some kindness one cup at a time. Ben Ramirez aspires to own his own coffee shop one day. When the coronavirus hit San Francisco, he saw an opportunity to turn his passion into random acts of kindness. Take a look. One San Francisco man is making his neighbors a little happier. He's serving free coffee to essential workers. There's Ben Ramirez. He waits by his open window on Pfeiffer Street, right near Francisco Middle School. And when he sees a mail carrier or health care worker walking by, he offers his services. He said he had the location and the resources to make it happen. I've always wanted to do something out of this window. Um, you know, we have this nice small street where everybody knows each other. Keep my distance from people with, the, <laughs> with this little guy. This is how I deliver coffee to people. It's with this little arm that I stole from my son. <laughs> Ramirez says he had the supplies because he's an aspiring coffee house owner and he's been taking classes. He saw an opportunity to get some practice when the cafes had to close. That's awesome. Next up, sometimes grandma just needs a beer. 93-year-old Olive Veronese of Pennsylvania went viral last week when a picture of her smiling and holding up a sign, as you see here, saying she needed more beer, made its way around the interwebs. The funny photo was shared more than 5 million times on Facebook. I'm also happy to tell you that Coors Light caught on to the senior's request and sent her 150 ice-cold beers. The company let her know that they're ready to send her more beers whenever she's in need of a restock. And lastly, a local movement is keeping hospital workers fed and restaurants afloat in Wisconsin. Around Milwaukee, people are doing two good deeds with one kind act, donating money for meals for hospital workers and at the same time supporting local restaurants and employees. The move began when Milwaukee Brewers baseball stars Christian Yellick and Ryan Braun partnered with Third Street Market Hall and Wisconsin companies such as American Family Insurance, Associated Bank, Line and Kugel Brewing, and Sargento to buy meals for local rest from ro local restaurants and send them to hospital workers on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic. The campaign took root in the local area with community members going out to their local restaurants to purchase and deliver food from the restaurants to the hospital workers. Molly Sullivan owns Miss Molly's Cafe and Pastry Shop in Milwaukee, and is one such restaurant owner participating in the movement. She told the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, it keeps us in business. 
our employees are here making food and getting paid and we're getting the food to people who need it. And that, my dears, is your five good things for today, April 14th. All right, so that's it for us today. Um, always remember, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others. I know this is a long haul that we're in right now, but we're gonna get out of it. There's gonna be a bright future. One of these days, things will return to some semblance of what we know and recognize. Until then, hang in there, reach out to people, and just take it easy. I'm here, if you guys need me, let me know. Um, you can either contact me, YouTube, Instagram, whatever. Um, and other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow for another five good things. Until then.